Greetings, this is the Mad Hermit with you once again for another poetry reading installment. I know we haven't done one of these for a while, so to jump start it, I'm going to visit a very old friend of mine, and that is no one else but Robert Frost. Today's poem that we are going to read, actually, is entitled A Time to Talk. Time to Talk by Robert Frost. When a friend calls to me from the road and slows his horse to a meaning walk, I don't stand still and look around on all the hills I haven't hoed and shout from where I am, What is it? No, not as there is time to talk. I thrust my hoe in the mellow ground, blade end up and five feet tall, and plod I go up to the stone wall for a friendly visit. Now this is a very simple poem. It's a very straightforward poem. Obviously the speaker is a farmer of some sort, a person who no doubt lives off the fat of the land. And basically he is speaking that, you know, if a friend comes up and visits him, he won't remain self-absorbed into work, that the most he could do is basically call out from the vast field and ask what is it. No, he would actually drop everything he's doing and just plod through that vast area to meet his friend and just to talk to him. Now, this is a very, you know, as I said before, a very simple poem, but at the same time, it's a poem with a very profound meaning. How many times have, you know, We've been in a family situation, or, you know, a friend comes up, up to us and wants to talk to us. Or, you know, we just see, say, if you're a mother or a parent and uh, your son or daughter comes back from school. And just by instinct you say, hey, how was your day? But at the same time, you never look them straight in the eye. Just continue doing all the stuff around you. Or if a friend wants to uh, talk to you, and you're, you know, absorbed in a video game, what have you. And they say, you know, do you have a second? And you just, you know, still buzzing along in the computer game saying, yeah, what is it? You know, and again, don't even look them in the eye whatsoever. The point is, that I'm trying to get at, is that humans are a very social creature. And there's a connection between all of us and with family members and people we know, the connection's stronger. And that connection is a human connection. And the problem with today is that people, despite the advances of technology to keep us all connected, you know, um, webcams, blogs, email, uh, chat, etc., etc., we are losing that connection with each other. And even more so, ironically, to the people that we see in person each day with between families, between friends and co-workers, it's come all too much of a habit for a parent to address their children and to have no eye contact and just say out reflex, out routine, rather than actually going up to each other and saying, how was your day? Looking them in the eye and making the body language that, say, that says to them, basically, I really care about what your day was. You know, I, I'm here to listen to you. You know, it's very rare of occasions, becoming even more rare that, you know, people would actually drop everything they're doing when someone asks for help, you know, or emotional support, or want to see about their welfare, that people would actually drop what they're doing and pay attention to them. But that in itself is very important, because when you do that to another person, namely if it's a person who you love or who's your family, that says something. That says, you know, I'm willing to drop everything I'm doing to listen to you, to talk to you, even it might be just saying, what's up? How you doing? You know, how was your day? Etc. Etc. So that's basically the thing that kind of this poem touches on in a very broad scale, but at the same time in a very concise level about human nature, the need for human connection, the need for sincerity within that human connection. So again, I won't ramble any further. I won't pound the soapbox or pulpit any further. And I will include this whole poem right below this video blog for everyone to look at and read along. And if you wish to comment, feel free to comment. 
and this has been The Mad Hermit, and I am signing off. Happy reading to you.